Hi guys, I'm Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting my reading for the book two prize round two, the quarterfinals. I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to it. It is currently April 24th. Uh, so I have basically exactly a month to read all six of these books. Yes, you heard me correctly all six of them. I've not read a single one of these books. Um, but that being said, I'm really looking forward to all of them. Um, this is a bunch where I have heard of all of these titles before. Um, whereas in the last round, I had not heard of all of the titles. Um, and unlike the last round as well, these are books that I likely would have picked up on my own, especially compared to the last group. Um, but I will be judging group B, which consists of Fruit of the Drunken Tree by Ingrid Rojas Contreras, The Mermaid and, or, yes, The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock by Imogen Hermes Gower, The Immortalist by Chloe Benjamin, and this is a copy that I received in a page habit box last year, so it does have annotations that I will probably be reading along, or uh, enjoying while I read that one. Uh, a Place for Us by Fatima Farheen, Farheen Mirza, Circe by Madeline Miller, and A Ladder to the Sky by John Boyne, our one and only male author. So those are the books that I will be reading as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, like the last vlog, I'm going to be reading them as close together in a bunch as I can. That being said, if I do feel like I need to take a break, which I did end up doing in the first round, um, I will do that. Um, but I don't have a ton of time to do that. But uh, regardless, um, I need to write all of these titles down on sheets of paper because, again, like the last round, I will be drawing these titles out of a hat just so that I can keep it as random as possible and make this judging as fair as possible um, by reading them in what order, whatever order is determined for me. Um, so I'm going to write those down on some paper and then we're going to figure out what, up, what book I'm going to start reading. All right, guys, let's do this. Let's figure out what book I'm reading first. Cause like I said, it's pedal to the metal. We gotta get these read. All right. And the first choice is Cersei by Madeline Miller. Millie's obviously excited about it. Um, I feel like most of us will know what this story is about. It is a retelling of Cersei. Um, this will be my first experience with Madeline Miller, which is pretty exciting. I do have an ebook copy of her first book, um, the A Song for Achilles, but I never got around to reading it. Um, but I do love Greek retellings and myths, so I have a feeling I'm going to enjoy this one a lot. But I guess we will wait and find out. So it's time to get some reading done, guys. Hello, everyone. Um, it has been forever since I last filmed the fact that I was going to be reading Circe, and I've done an absolute terrible job of updating all of you because I've finished it now, but it's been a while. I don't even remember when I started this vlog, but it is currently Cinco de Mayo, hence the super red cheeks, no makeup, and the margarita. Um, so there's that. So I finished Circe, and... I understand the hype and I am here for it and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, the cow's gonna come say hi. Hi, Buck. Millie, you wanna come say hi? No? Um, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Totally understand the hype, but that also means that it's the 5th of May and I have five more books to read. Yep, and technically a sixth book to read for book club that has nothing to do with this, but that needs to be read by the 19th and these all need to be read by the 24th. So we're getting down to crunch time. So you know me, just a little bit of pressure just to get the job done. Um, but I figured we'd pick the next read because I should probably start reading it tonight. Um, so let's, let's figure out what the next read is. If it were The Mermaid of Mrs. Hancock, I wouldn't be sad about it because it's the biggest, but... I doubt my luck will be that good. Fruit of the Drunken Tree. Okay. So, Fruit of the Drunken Tree by Ingrid Rojas Contreras. Um, I have no idea what this book is about, but I guess we'll all find out together and hopefully I'll get some actual real vlogging done and it's not just me talking at a camera with no makeup on my face and a margarita and a half in. Uh, but 
anyway, I'm going to go get into bed and start book number two for round two of the book two prize. I finished Fruit of the Drunken Tree Last Night by Ingrid Rojas Contreras. Doesn't that have like a nice flow to it? Uh, that ending, guys, kind of came out of nowhere. It ended very, very strong. I'm still processing this book a little bit because I think there are parts of it, I don't think there's a weak part, but I think there are some parts that are far stronger than others. Uh, there, there, there's a lot going on in this book but while simultaneously being kind of slow going for most of it, if that makes sense. Uh, but I would say overall, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, it's intriguing and I'm still thinking about it and still processing. And it'll be very interesting to see where this ends up in the ranking of things. Uh, but we finished this one pretty quickly, which is good because y'all know I'm on a time crunch. So speaking of time crunch, shall we pick our next read? Because what do we have left? We have The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock, A Place for Us, The Immortalist, and A Ladder to the Sky. So some, some heavy hitters there. Uh, let's see what it's going to be. A Ladder to the Sky by John Boyne, um, the only male author of the bunch. I believe um, that a lot of people have really enjoyed this book. I have not read The Heart's Invisible Furies, although so many people love it and I really would like to get around to reading it. But this will be my first experience with John Boyne. And I am pretty sure I'm going to choose to not read the synopsis of this just because Doris at Aldi Books mentioned there's kind of a bit of a spoiler. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but we're not going to attempt it. And we're going to get this started today. This is another chunkier book, about 370 pages, so a little bit longer than the last. And we're going to get along to it. But I'm loving this cover um, because of the things that I think happen in this book. A little bit of plagiarism, maybe. It's going to be interesting, I have a feeling. All right, we finished it. We finished A Ladder to the Sky. Who was that a ride? I, I knew some aspects of this book going into it, but this was not necessarily exactly what I was anticipating. That doesn't mean it was bad. The writing was stellar, but I don't think this is a book that you necessarily say that you like loved the reading experience of it or that you love it because it doesn't necessarily make you feel good, but incredibly well um, executed, I must say. And that was my first for foray, excuse me, into John Boyne. And you can be rest assured that I will be getting more of his works for sure. But that also means that it's time to keep plugging along and figure out, figuring out what our next read is. I'm kind of crossing my fingers that I can get to the Immortalist right now because I have a pretty clear schedule today and if I could finish that book today, that would be really, really awesome. I'm not gonna lie. So, oh, these two are like eating each other. That's a problem. All right, let's do this. Let's see which book I'm reading next. Watch, it'll be the longest one. <laughs> and it is, it's The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock which is definitely the longest of the bunch. This is also historical fiction, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm really excited about this book. Um, uh, it's 484 pages, so <laughs> maybe not finishing this one today, but I feel like we can get a good chunk of it finished. That's my goal, because uh, we gotta keep, we gotta keep going, guys. Uh, this is about a gentleman, to my knowledge, based on the jacket, that a he owns like a shipping company and one of his captains trades a ship for a dead mermaid which is like little and shriveled up and that really sounds fascinating and i believe there is a there's a female character in here too i don't know what she is though 
Anyway, I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. This is another just like gorgeous book. Like the end pages are beautiful. It's just, it's pretty. And who doesn't appreciate a pretty book? I mean, I'm sure there's lots of people, but I appreciate a pretty book. Um, so let's get this one started because it's the chunky one of the bunch. Let's do this. Just wanted to do a quick check-in since I haven't been doing that very well and I actually remembered. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Um, I made a decent dent in The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock today. Um, it, I'm 300, 300, not 300, 230 pages in. So just short of halfway. And very, very happy with the progress because as I've mentioned for the umpteenth time, uh, I'm running out of time to get these read, um, but I'm enjoying this. I knew it was about a man who inadvertently ended up with a mermaid, and um, <clears throat> there, our secondary character, our not secondary character, our other main character is a courtesan, and it's about how this mermaid causes their lives to intersect and how it affects both of them and it's very very fascinating um there's aspects of her writing that i really like uh she has this habit of like giving this really really immense amount of detail but not in a way that makes it seem dense or unnecessary just beautifully portrayed and then she'll throw in these like really short direct sentences after the fact and it just it really works for me so I'm enjoying it a lot and for the fact that it's a big book it doesn't seem dense and I'm enjoying it and it hasn't felt like a chore to read 230 pages today which is always a good thing um I don't know that I will finish it tomorrow but we're gonna give it a shot because technically I don't have anything going on tomorrow afternoon I mean I do have to work adulting you know but anyway yeah that's where we're at with this uh thoroughly enjoying it. It'll definitely be interesting to see how these books pan out when I finally do have to rank, rate them and rank them. Um, just because I've had some really mixed, not bad, but like how I feel about each book has been very, has been very, very different, which is fun. And that's exciting to see. Um, but I've probably rambled on enough and I might as well go, go and get a little bit of reading um, in before bed because... I work tomorrow and bed and sleep is good, although I'll probably spend far too much reading time reading this. But you know, as George R. R. Martin says, sleep is good, books are better. this in two days and I could not be more happy about it I really really like this one like a lot um, and flew through it um, because I wanted to not because I had to even though I did have to um, that was an adventure and I really had no idea where it was gonna take me but I enjoyed immensely where it took me uh, and the language is just beautiful um, but I guess I should probably take you into my office and figure out what we're gonna need right next. And then the cow cow should, and I should make dinner, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Oh. Anybody else get tongue slaps from their dogs? Just let me know. Anyway, might as well walk with me. Um, and let's figure out what we're gonna read next. I'm repeating myself again, go figure. 
Uh, let's see here. Ooh, how you doing there? I'm running into things. All right, let's see what it's gonna be. We have two left. We have two left. We're doing good. Uh, so the next book I will be reading is, oh my goodness, The Immortalist. Uh, so I'm gonna have to make a decision on this one because I received this book in a page habit box, so it has annotations in it um, from the author. And if I'm being technical, I feel like I should take them out because I don't want it to add unfairly to my experience of reading this book. But nonetheless, I kind of want to read them. So I guess I need to decide that. Um, but I do have a little bit of time because I am currently going to um, take a break before I read The Immortalist because I have book club on Sunday and I haven't even started that book. Um, but so we're gonna do that, but then we will definitely get into the Immortalist. I'm looking forward to getting to this because I've had it over a year now. I'm pretty sure. Um, I mean, it was a new book, obviously, last year, but it was published towards the beginning of 2018. Uh, but regardless, we're plugging along. We're we're making um, some headway. But now it's time for me to get to my book club book, and then we'll be back at it. Millie, do you want to come say hi real quick? Are you gonna make me show them you? The poppers. All right, I just wanted to hop on and do a quick update because I didn't vlog reading The Immortalist at all, but I finished it yesterday and started it yesterday. So it was a successful reading day, but unfortunately not a book that I found successful in it's writing or plotting or anything. But again, I will go into that in more detail when I finally do a wrap up, which is actually very shortly because I only have one left book, one left book to read. One book left to read in this bunch and that's A Place for Us by Fatima Farheen Mirza. I am not gonna lie, I'm really, really excited about this book. I was interested in this book regardless of the fact that I um, was selected to read it for the judging process. And I, I've heard incredible things. I'm trying not to let that get to me because I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible, but I'm excited to read this book. But I have to get going because I have a few errands to run and then I have a hair appointment today. So I'll definitely get some reading done and I'll get some of this book started and hopefully I'll get some vlogging done as well. We'll see how that goes though because this time around I've been terrible at it. Huh, cow, cow. Hi, buddy. But we had a cuddle day yesterday. Millie, Millie enjoyed it because mama sat and read all day or most of the day. Anyway, we will check in in a bit. Hi all, this is me from the future uh, sitting down to edit my vlog and realizing that I never actually wrapped up a place for us. Um, I loved it a lot. It's been my favorite book I've read for uh, the BookTube prize thus far. Um, if you want my full thoughts on it, I will go ahead and just send you over to the wrap up that I've already posted. Um, I have to say this was a really, really good reading round, but a really, really bad bout of blogging. I must say blogging, vlogging. Um, so apologies for that, but I figured I'd put this video up anyway. Um, even if it is a little bit half-assed, I must say. Uh, but this next round, I promise I will be better about blogging, uh, but regardless, I should probably finish this up because I need to edit it so then I can upload it and post it and da 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 Anyway, um, if you guys like this video, please like it, and if you loved it, please subscribe, and we will see you in my next video. Happy reading!